What's good YouTube? It's your boy Musa back with another vlog. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys and showing you guys things that I use, apps and stuff that I use in order to help me with my weight loss journey or tracking, just tracking what I put in my body, how much I move, all that stuff and hopefully you guys will find some of these apps helpful and you might start using them yourself. Now the first one I'm going to show you guys is called Fastic. Fastic. So basically, that's the logo. Okay, you can't see it, but here. Let me let me show you. So basically, there you go. It's basically showing you how much you've been fasting the whole day, how many hours. And as you can see, I have been fasting over 16 hours now. Um, so it's time for me to break my fast. Top of it, it says a zero day. So today is literally gonna be my first day. I'm um, starting up again. And the longest I went with this one was around I think it was say like 40 plus days I went using this app. Very helpful, it kind of keeps you like motivated even though I don't believe in motivation, but it kind of keeps you in check and it's like, oh man, I've got this streak. I don't want to end it and start from zero again. So you kind of keep going with it. So if there's something you're interested in, check it out, Fast Tick, um, really good app. But yeah, now it's time for me to go break my fast and then we're going to talk about the second app that I use to help me get on, stay on track with eating and all that goodness. Time to break the fast, let's go make breakfast! Let's go. You're probably wondering what was I doing there. I was basically just putting in my breakfast. I pretty much keep it the same every day, but some days I switch it up. Like with the oats, instead of the oats, I'll have a tortilla wrap. So I make it like an egg wrap. Um, instead of having carbs from oats, I have carbs from the wrap instead. That's pretty much the only thing that I would change. But also the way I cook the eggs, sometimes it's scrambled, sometimes it's an omelet, sometimes it's just straight fry each individual egg. It just depends on how I feel on the day, but I have very diverse and different ways of making eggs boiled. You know, there's so many ways to make eggs. It just depends on the person and the best way you like them. Like just because you're dieting doesn't mean you have to suffer. Um, cook them the way you want to cook them uh, and just enjoy your food. He is tracking. So the app that I'm using here, as you guys can see, it is called My Fitness Pal. I'm sure everyone knows what My Fitness Pal is. Um, if you don't, you better ask somebody. I'm here, I'm joking. I've been using it for, for years. Shout out to my guy Lee for putting me on. It's been very helpful. It is a great app. I know a lot of people don't like tracking food. Like they find it annoying. It's like, why should I know what I have to eat? How much I need to eat of it? Da, 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 da. Best way to stay in shape is to understand food. Like if you understand food and how many calories in certain foods, you'll be all right. Like you don't have to track for the rest of your life. Like track for, I say six months to a year, just be tracking every single day as much as you can. Some days you're gonna miss it, it is what it is, but track when you can, and sooner or later you're just gonna understand food. You're just gonna be like, you know what? I know that two eggs with some egg whites, blah, 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 it's around two, 300 calories, yada, yada, yada. You'll be in a good position to just be all right and not overeat. That is tool number two, my fitness pal. I love it. Check it out. Let me make my food. I'm hungry. So the third app or thing that I use is my watch to track my steps. I normally use the phone. I also have phone, Google Health, whatever it's called, um, to track how many steps I do in a day. I normally aim for around 10,000. 
obviously you know your phone you have it sometimes you don't the watch as well i wear it sometimes i don't but these are the main two that i use in order to track how many steps i do each day the key is to keep it consistent with what tool you want to use for me it's the watch and the phone cool now i'm heading home I'm about to hit the train i was just watching my brother play football so i've got some steps in right now i'm on around three four thousand still haven't gone to the gym yet but yeah three four thousand steps yeah, yeah. I use XL to track my workouts. Now with my workouts, um, I've tailored it to my needs, of course, um, but also I'm flexible with it. Like I have a little bit of fun with it. Obviously I have the certain exercises that I stick to, but every now and then I might switch it up. Like if I go to the gym, it's busy, the machine's being used, cables are being used, I'll improvise with dumbbells or something, change the exercise. Because obviously right now, because I'm cutting, I can only build so much muscle during cutting. Some believe that you can't even build muscle during cutting, um, but for me, it's more of a tracking, make sure I don't lose too much strength, um, how many reps I do, how many sets I do. That's the main reason why I'm tracking my workout. It's very good to track your workouts. If you've been training for many, many years, you might not need to. Like, there's, I know so many bodybuilders or so many fitness people that don't track their workouts anymore because they've been doing it for so long. Um, they just know what kind of program, like whether it's push, pull, leg, whether it's upper, lower, whether it's, you know, different types of splits, um, bro split, like where you do one muscle each day, like there's so many splits. Um, but yeah, XO, I use it. There's obviously apps as well that you can use to like make workouts and stuff. But for me, I'm old, old school, I've got my computer and the, the app is connected on my phone as well. So I can just type in sets, weight, and obviously reps on my phone while I'm working out. So it's just easy for me. Um, so yeah, give it a go if you start checking your workouts or you can just check for, for apps. I can't give you any names because I don't use them. I use this. Um, so yeah, that is the final um, app type of situation that I use. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's video. Hopefully some of these apps and techniques you apply to your daily fitness and it might help. Um, let me know how it goes and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Love life, love life, love life.